Hello everybody. Uh, today I want to make one video uh, to compare and show you how to use uh, terminal programs, some of the most popular terminal programs. Uh, what are these programs used for? Well, uh, if you ever worked with microcontroller, you probably used the serial port on this uh, microcontroller. Uh, the serial port, it's kind of serial communication that is widely used because almost every microcontroller has it and it's very easy to connect it to your PC. You can you connect it to your DB9 serial port connector, but most of the new computers doesn't ha uh, don't have this connector, so you can simply use USB to serial uh, board, converter board, and uh, connect it from actually to your USB of your PC and send receive data from small microcontroller. Uh, today I want to test uh, two COM port terminal programs. One is uh, Doc Lite. It's a very mature program. It's been here for many years and it has many many advanced features. Uh, today I will just uh, show some of its features and maybe in some of the next video I'll show more. And the second program, it's a bright terminal, it's also very popular. And it's small program, just exe file that you don't have to install, you start it and you can use it. But, uh, okay, I'll show wha what is the flow maybe of this bright program in this video. Th I don't say it's not a good program, it's great little program, but only for some cases you can, in some cases you can use it. Okay, uh, for start, uh, I made one code. I this is the code for my microchip microcontroller. I just uh, make a quick overview of uh, this part of the code. We actually only this defined one variable. We call it p test and one one string character char thread uh, char array. And uh, inside while loop, what do we do? We we format this char array. We, that every time it's, it's different, it has the first, it has this vari variable speed test that is incrementing every time, so it will be 0, then 1, and then 2, and text example package speed test, so it's just some random text, and uh, every time we go to new line, so we can easily uh, follow it on terminal program. And uh, once we format it, we send it to serial port to our PC, to receive it on the other end with uh, terminal program and when we get to package number 1000 we return it back to the zero so we will send the data very fast to the pc but very often we want to send a lot of data to pc for example if you want some measurement done maybe make some kind of small uh, oscilloscope or something like that we want to send a lot of data to the pc so uh, if you want uh, this program okay i program it uh, programmed it already on the microcontroller and i'll connect bright terminal for start we select which com port is this for me it's com 13 baud rate it's 1015 uh 115200 i set this in the rest of the code i showed it on, showed this only the main part of the code so we can see what's going on there are some initializations before this of course okay and when i uh, connect it okay uh, and i will start the sending i'll turn on my microcontroller and when i start it here we get a lot of packages great we get uh, the data the data is coming in when we go to 1000 we'll go back to zero and everything looks great but I'll stop this communication now. Okay, what becomes the problem? If I go back, here it is, package number 300, 200, up. At this point, after receiving package number 113, the next package is 257. So basically we lost 120 20 packages here. So a lot of data is being lost. We go more in the past we go to zero then 1000 let's see if we, this is one time error no again here again we lost 200 uh, 120 packages more at this moment okay we go back here again 
about 140 packages lost so you can see again one uh, 150 packages lost about 150 not exactly that number so you can see this okay I started it again this happens very often few times a second you lose about 100 packages it's a big 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 data loss so th this is the main problem with this small bri if you send uh, more than just hello world just a few lines of code you have a big probability that you will lose some data also if you want to view data in hexa format I will change to hexa but I know what will happen now when I click hexa the whole terminal is frozen okay and now here we started to receive some data and it blocks I cannot do anything with it I cannot disconnect it it's totally blocked I even stopped my microcontroller but that doesn't matter the, this program it's just not responding so I have to close it like this okay let's do the same thing on dot light now okay I, I want to show you if you want to select which com port is it you click here select com port 13 about rate so it basically it's the same thing and you start it and I'll start my microcontroller now if you want to clear this view something that you received from from microcontroller you just click right click with your mouse and say clear all, all communication windows I'll start microcontroller and here the data is coming in so at first look it looks like it's low frame rate so I I was thinking okay we'll maybe we lose even more packages here it looks like it's not that big uh, such a frequent refresh rate of a screen even but actually when I stopped okay we received here several thousand packages now when I stop data reception and we take the scroll bar to go back we can see 300 200 100 0 then back to 1000 800 700 6000 600 uh, you can actually see that all the packages are here there is no data loss so this is great when you want some uh, fast data acquisition actually you can have all the packages you don't get any data loss okay but what happens uh, if we connect and we switch okay I'll clear this view I'll turn on my microcontroller to send data what happens if we switch to hexadecimal view I expect it here <coughs> for program program to freeze <coughs> okay and uh, here we'll switch to hexadecimal view okay reaction is instantaneous and we actually receive all the data there is no package loss even if we switch to decimal and even for the binary view that has most dig digits displays displayed still no data loss which is great <coughs> okay so uh, I want to show you one, one more thing to try one more thing what happens okay here we are sending the data all the time what if we add small delay every time 1000 packages are received well not so small delay we'll add actually one second delay okay we added one second delay after each 1000 packages so this should this should help right so you don't have uh, data being sent all the time you have big pause in microcontroller world in real time up in real time reaction system embedded systems it's one second is a big number and I programmed this code to my this code to microcontroller 
and let's see once I it finishes programming it since dot light it's still connected we will start receiving data <coughs> here it is and we receive 1000 data we had one second pause and then new 1000 data here is a pause so we really receive again 1000 data and actually have this pause of one second in between package number 1000 and package number 0 and if we stop it we can see again all the data it's being received so no package loss here super okay and again I'll use bry bry terminal <coughs> For this I connect it and here we'll receive 1000 packages but there is no pause in between because the input buffers are all full and not only that we have no pause in between so it's not actually real time but also I'll disconnect it now just to see stop not only that we have no pause in between that's not the such a big problem problem is again we have a data package loss here we have 70 packages loss here here we have almost 400 packages loss lost so it's a lot of data almost 50 percent of the data it's not being received here 100 and so on so uh, and if I try to add a binary view of the data to the side for example I know what will happen here as you can see it displays only about 10 packages per second when you display it in binary view and most of the packages probably 90% of the packages or more it's being lost if you try to disconnect it it's frozen almost instantaneously so so there you go for today I wanted to show you and I'll show you how to uh, receive a lot of data from serial compare to your PC for data either debugging or if you want to make a data acquisition from some fast measurement for a microcontroller microcontroller today have uh, AD converters that uh, can measure up to 2 megabits uh, 2 mega samples per second so 2 million measurements per second for this uh, even my this uh, serial port communication is not enough but okay if you send it in binary for program uh, format you can send a lot of data but only if using more advanced terminal programs such as doclight uh, that's it for this video in next video i will show you how to use this send and receive sequences but uh, this is another topic and this video it's already uh, it's already longer than i expected so we will do this uh, send and receive sequences and what's so special about them and how you can use them using doc light in another video thank you